dry brushing. After you've done your antiquing glaze, the next step is the dry brushing. Now, again, all of these steps can be used or not be used depending if you want to use both of them. A lot of clients will stop after this step that you see here and just apply their last finished coat, which could be a satin or a semi-gloss, and they're done. What we're trying to show you is all the different steps to create all the different looks. And of course, you can either add or take away whatever you want. Now, the next step again is our dry brushing. We have a dry brushing liquid that we pre-mix for you. Now what we do is we take a little bit of it, we put it on a scrap piece of MDF or a cardboard, and then we mix it with a brand new dry brush. Sergio, why don't we go ahead and show them what we're doing with that. Now, we're, all we're trying to do is get this very thick dry brushing glaze onto the brush. Now we don't want it drippy, we don't want it to, to, to get messy. It's just, again, it's called dry brushing because the brush is very, very dry. And we're going to take that and we're going to lightly go over the edges of the material. And that's why when you notice on Pearl Works products, there's a lot of sharp edges and a lot of deep crevices. The reason why we do that is, again, is to make sure that when you finish our product, it does it very nicely. Now, you'll notice now, so we're just taking the outer edges of the shell and just lightly brushing the black glazing or the, or the black dry brushing glaze over these edges and he'll also do it to the moldings and different parts of the shell. Now this is a very light brushing technique, not heavy and it takes some skill to learn. The beauty of this is because you've sealed the last step is you can actually come back and wipe away and start over again. So why don't you show them on one of the shell edges how you can wipe it off and then start. And let's just assume you made a mistake. All you do is you take a dry rag and you wipe it off because again, you sealed it. Now Sergio can come back and do the technique again. And let's just say it was too light or too heavy. This is one of the beauty of being able to seal each coat. And this is why we highly recommend it, especially when you do finishing for the first time and you're practicing. Now, a lot of finishers don't have to do that because they can do all the steps without making a mistake. But we still do it because there's a lot of work if you've got to start over. Now this particular technique does the same thing as the antique glazing. What it does, it's like eyeliner for a woman on her eyes. It brings out the detail in the molding and it makes it pop. And as you can see now, it's really starting to pop compared to the beginning steps. Okay. That's the dry brushing technique and one of the things to remember is you can go as light or as heavy as you want depending on your taste.